come back. In between the parts, I got hit by a van, so let's go off to the principal's room and yeah. Yeah, that was kind of bad, wasn't it? Yeah. So I got hit by a van, went to the hospital, and luckily, I've come, come away with just a dislocated shoulder and a fracture in my shoulder as well. My right hand is scratched to, I'm gonna be swearing, it's scratched to fuck. It's scratched to fuck. There's no other way of putting it. It's like, oh dear god, like, I basically lost a knuckle. Is the best way of putting it. It's, oh, it's not pleasant. I would, if you know what, I would not recommend being hit by a van. You know, if, you, if you're thinking, I wonder what it, no. I, I would not recommend it. No, no. So I'm, I'm off work for three weeks. Doing, okay. Okay. Doing as light as things as possible, sitting here playing a game seems doable we'll see how I go I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time with things basically we'll just we'll just see if it, if things will probably be as normal for the channel but we shall see I think under the circumstances it's sort of like yeah if things go a bit hectic I think you'd understand thank you for all all your best wishes etc and to all the people who were joking around as well I do appreciate the jokes quite a bit because it's my sense of humor it's like I'm always gonna find it funny but anyway, well, the best thing I can do in these circumstances is just carry on. It's, it's very British of me. I can keep calm and carry on. Stiff upper lip, all no. that. Just gotta be careful of my shoulder though. Just, you know, just be very, 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 very wary. I'm on loads of meds. I've got codeine. It's brilliant. Anyway, I got high for the first time. Anyway, anyway. Ah, I swat I heard the Crown Prince himself invited you to go join the main campus. Yeah, it really took me by surprise. Seems like his majesty whims are causing you no end of headaches. Yes, indeed. I heard, had heard, of the principal's change in personality, but seeing it firsthand is rather shocking. On the other hand, it's good to see him with some fire in his eyes. I suppose. It's just how you apply it, really. It's just as shocked as you, but I agree. In any event, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of his highness in the future. Regardless of whether you stay here or go to the main campus. If you want to be a positive influence on him, you must lead by example. It's a good point. Y yeah, understood. That is a good point. Like, we do have the chance to actually shape him if we went back to the main campus. Like, we could actually help him in some regard. Hmm, it's a good point, though. In any event, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of his highness in the future, regardless of where you see the main campus. By example, yep, that's essentially the same then. Okay. Oh god, it felt like the door disappeared and then came back then. Jeez. Right, so what we got? Michael. I didn't expect he'd ask you to transfer. Looks like his highness really likes you. If you decide to accept his offer, just let me know. I'll make sure to take care of all the paperwork. Okay. This is just so blunt of it, isn't he? It is your decision, but if you decide to accept his offer, just let me know. We should take care of all the paperwork. Okay. Da, 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 da. It's like it's times like these when I've had an injury, you know, etc. I'm very grateful that we're playing a um, turn-based game. Like, if this was an action game, if it's like needed pinpoint accurate decisions and stuff like that, nope. That won't be happening. Toa! It's good to see Toa. I know what I said at the end of the previous part, but with how I'm feeling, it's good to see Toa. Toa! Are you putting together our travel plans for Crossbell? That's right. I've got the basics locked down already, so I'm just working out their finer details now. I see. Thank you for tackling that. Oh, please. Planning's just what I do. Anyway, uh, Crossbell, huh? Prince Cedric obviously surprised me, but it's you know who I'm really worried about. I can relate. I'll be sure to keep an eye on her. I shouldn't force myself to talk about my invitation to the main campus. Toa. I appreciate all this, but try to get some rest tonight. We don't want you burning out now. I know. Thanks for worrying about me, Reen. Alrighty. Once I get a little more done, I'll call it a day. Alrighty. Okay. It's like, ugh. It's gonna be weird the next few days. Just basically just adjusting to medication is the best way of putting it. So we've got a side event. Oh, Ash. Hello. Hmm. You're one popular guy, ain't you, Mr. Hero? And that prince, he's a pushy little brat, ain't he? Ash, were you watching? Only after Vander and the others barged in. 
You sure you want to turn down his offer like that? Triple Dot. Oh, I'd hate to see you escape from here and trade up like that. But at the same time, I'm sure as hell wouldn't shed a tear if you left. Uh, just please don't mention this to anyone else, okay? You probably will. Huh. That princess is a pushy little brat, ain't he? I wonder if something interesting is finally about to go down. Oh, yes. That's definitely how I'm feeling about the situation. Something's about to go down with Cedric. Definitely feels has been influenced by what happened. I'm thinking on the tea ceremony place. Do, do, do. Yeah, we'll go down. We'll go down. Okay, nothing in here. Aha. Green thingy at the pool. Oh, I was expecting it to be Altina, but no. Ugh. I almost got it. Doing some solo swimming practice. Pretty impressive, Wayne. Oh, Instructor Schwarzer. Indeed. Where are your nipples? Where are everyone's nipples? We will must find this out. This is something I was considering when I was in hospital. Maybe they've all actually been surgically removed and there's a stockpile of nipples somewhere. No idea why, but maybe that's the case. I don't know if impressive is the right word. Can't even swim 40 yards yet. Between Stark's guidance and the books I've read, it should be a piece of cake by now. But I still can't make, can't quite make it. My goal's always just two kicks away. Look, Wayne, you're just starting out. I can't worry about stuff like that. But Stark spent so much time trying to teach me to swim. I can't let that all go to waste. There's no way I'll be able to compete the way I am. You really care about your friends, don't you? I'd like to help him, but do I have the time? Uh-oh. It's gonna be button prompts. I can help you out if you don't mind. I'll give it a go. It's more fun to train with someone else anyway. Like, I can still use my right hand, so it should be alright. But I can still use both my hands, so it should be alright. It's just right hand cut to fuck, like I said. You should see my left hand side scratch to hell. You mean it? Oh, something wrong? I uh, might have ever done my weight training last night, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. Still got more than enough strength to swim. Hmm. I didn't expect you to be so sore. Maybe we should reschedule. Hmm. Actually, wait. This kind of reminds me of when Instructor Nehart taught us to swim through the Manway method. What do he call that exercise he made us do? The bit breakers? Actually, that might be just what Wayne needs if he's aching. I Instructor Schwarzer? Alright, brace yourself, because we're gonna train you hard today. Wayne, I'm gonna push you to your very limits, and then straight through them. I Instructor, this isn't like you. Huh. And I like it. Bring on the pain. Okay. Also, and so Wayne trained himself to his absolute limits under the watchful eye of Reen and the Manway method. Then... I think you might be at your limit. I can still go! Alright then. No, that, that's quite a talk. I've got this. Your persistence is impressive, but that's enough warming up. Oh, and just so you know, the last part of your training is a race against me. What? Since this is the end of our session, you better give this race everything you've got left. Y yes, sir. Hopefully it's not bad button prompts. Beep. Control Wayne and be green. Yeah, we should be alright with that. Triangles and circle, just pressing it at times should be fine. Good, good. Oh, I'm kind of pressing myself for doing that. I won? 
You must have been sandbagging on me, right, Instructor Reen? I'll admit I was gozing, gozing, going easy on you at first, but I was swimming at a full speed by the end. You really made progress. You're too kind. I still have a lot of training to do. By the way, you finally swam 40 yards. But I really did? You, you helped me achieve my goal in just one day of training. Thank you so much, Instructor Reen. <laughs> just doing my job. That said, this was all you, Wayne. Put in the effort. You made this happen. I... Thank you, Instructor. What a blessing in disguise this branch campus has turned out to be. I was mortified when I first heard I was enrolled at the wrong campus. What do you mean? Well, I was supposed to be enrolled at the main campus. But due to a clerical error, my name ended up in the branch campus books. I didn't know that could happen. You told the faculty when you realized what happened, right? I did, yes. They told me I couldn't transfer out, but I could, could transfer out. I thought this has to be a trial and chose to stay. A theory that was born on, out on the first day when the principal said this school was a trash bin. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit, that took me by surprise too. But I've got to ask, Wayne, why are you so hard on yourself? I don't mean any offense, but wouldn't it be easier to just lighten up a little? <laughs> I wish I could, but it's in my blood. My father's a military man. Former 5th Armored Division, actually. Ah, they're the ones who vanished with the fortress during the war. But, I assume came back, because we had one person come back in Cold Steel 2. That's right, or at least they did for a while. There you go, there you go. My dad was a f found um, alive and well. The soul is tempered by trials overcome. That's my family's motto. I see. That's a lot to live up to. Be that as it may, I have no regrets about choosing Branch Campus. Thanks in no small part to you, Instructor Reen. I look forward to your future guidance. Well, I look forward to guiding you. Oh, how lovely. Yay! Still disappointed I've missed out on some AP, but still. Well, in the grand scheme of things, not that big of a deal, is it? Phew. I'm really tired today. There's nothing better than a good meal right after some training. Tough training, in fact. Can't wait until dinner. <laughs> Glad to see your positive mindset never wavers. There's nothing better than a good meal right after... Can't wait till dinner. Same again. Oh, that's, lo that's a lovely little thing to do there, wasn't it? Okay, so... Ha, ha, ha. Alright, very well. Yeah. Got some snacks left over from Tea Ceremony Club. Lovely. It's called Kusamoki. It's a soft confection with mugwort leaves kneaded into it. Oh, interesting. I learned something new today. Thanks, Mayor. I shall have another one. Chomp. Hmm. Matcha is nice, but unsweetened black tea is good too. Why would you have unsweetened black tea? No, 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 no. You want to sweeten your black tea. Hey, come on now. Come, come, come. I'll add a bit of milk. One sugar, a teaspoon of sugar. Red beans. Yumaki. Yumaki? Eastern snacks use many plant based ingredients. The differences are pretty interesting. Indeed, indeed. I asked Mr. Celestin which ingredients he used most often. He taught me that herbs are good for healing fatigue. I should try mixing some into the cafeteria food. If I use some honey, all the kids in the sports clubs would get more energy. Yeah, I feel like I can do this. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I feel like I can do all kinds of different things. I gotta try it out. Same again, let's have a look at the shop though. We already got that, didn't we? Just double checking, that's good. Alright, outside we go. Hmm. I mean, we've got one BP. Who can we actually talk to with the BP? We've got leaves as well? There's a lot of places to go to, isn't it? Just looks like it's going to be only Kurt then. So who's around? We'll check the platform. It's worth a check, it's worth a check. 
Check inside the hangar. Ah, hello. I came along to use some of the tools here, but seems like something's something's went down inside, Renny. Really. That aside, it's hard to believe how many genius engineers we've got here. There's Professor Schmidt and Tita, and not to mention Mint as well. It's honestly mind blowing. Yes. Ah, I cannot lose to them. At the very least, I have got to become a number one when it comes to trains. My throat is going very dry. We have some orange juice next to me. I love orange juice at the moment, by the way. I have no idea. Like, someone let me know. Like, we've got a few medical people around here on the channel. Why am I craving orange juice so much after what's happened to me? Is there a reason? Is there something in it? Is it electrolytes or something? Just let me know. I'm just curious. Like, properly craving it. Mentor Professor Schmidt. Seem to go together as well as oil and water, but I think there's more to their relationship than just that. In any case, I don't think anyone can throw Professor Smith through a loop as much as Mint does. Indeed. Seems like something happened again back there. <laughs> the expressions are totally opposite. Indeed. Yo, Jeffrey, how you doing? Pink as always, I see. Huh? The energy grid's maintenance hatch isn't opening. What are you doing, you imbecile? It's locked. You need to use the master key to open it. Alright, I couldn't find it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I might have dropped it down there. I'd explain all that clanking I heard. How oh, could you be so... <sighs> you started up now, it might cause a short. Transmit an emergency unlock code from the dedicated terminal. The authentication code is on my desk. Really? Phew. Saved. Thanks a million, Schmitty. Schmidt. Don't call me that. I am Professor Schmidt. Are these two going to be okay working with each other? Yeah, they probably love it. Hey, Irene. I was going to do some maintenance on Draki, but then I ran into a bit of trouble. But it all worked out. I'm glad the professor's so nice. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to prevent a major accident. Yeah, seems the same. He is not happy. Uh, why must this girl hinder me at every turn? If this keeps up, I'll have no choice but to call Makarov over from the main campus and have him take care of her instead. Triple dot. Oh dear, oh dear. How's things going, Valimar, the Ashen Knight? Alright, I suppose. <laughs> Meister Mint may be noisy, but she is also interesting. As clumsy as she may be at times, she always finishes the job she starts. <laughs> I guess you're right. Same again. Yep, same again. Can I... I'm just checking, like, can I do... No. I was just seeing it's like, maybe I could do the Panzer Sword at training now. It's like, no. No, I've missed my chance. That's fine. Okay, so... Let's go check... Um, to the keep here. Before we head back and see who's in front. Don't see anyone, but we'll check inside just to be sure. Don't want to miss anyone. Yeah, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Bee, bee, bee. I already know it's going to do it. I already know. Um, I want the campus entrance. Front entrance. Bee, bee, bee. Oh, hello, it's Celestin. Prince Cedric's limousine has returned safely. I hope that puts your mind at ease. It does, thank you. Oh, please, it's my pleasure. Now that the location of your next field exercise has been determined, you're all going to be quite busy. I shall talk to Lady Toa about getting the requisite materials ready. I'm sure the contested land of Crossbell will provide you with a different set of challenges as compared to your experience in Sutherland. You can say that again. I'm grateful to have your help. Indeed. Ah, Crossbell, the easternmost province of the Empire. They say the economy has been booming under the Governor General's watchful eye. Ah, Rufus. Whether that leads to a happy populace or not is another story. Regardless, I shall continue to serve you in my capacity as a butler. For now, let me do so by talking to Lady Tour about getting your materials ready. Right, anyone else around? I don't see any dots. 
Can I go in the student store yet? I don't think I can, can I? Just just want to double check, because it's like I can see the door on the map, and it's like, I can't remember looking down there properly. No, it's still locked off. I'm assuming that opens up when I increase everything in the levels sort of thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Right, so let's head over to Leaves. I think what we'll do is go speak to Kurt right away. Oh god, there's loads of people around. Uh -huh, uh -huh, some VM going on there. Yeah, supposed to be to Kurt. Like, of, of everyone we can do here, it's like Kurt's the only one who seems to have an actual bonding event, so... We'll go with him. Triple dot. Kurt, are you alright? You look a bit pale. <laughs> Forgive me for worrying you. It would seem I'm a bit tired. It's been quite the busy day. Going through the keep and whatnot. Triple dot. I bet he's worried about Prince Cedric. What should I do? Should I help Kurt out? Yes. Hmm, it's close by, that might help. Although I probably had a phone call, didn't I? On the Arcus. That could have been some of the bonding. But I'd still sooner do Kurt than any of the older characters, because I want to learn about these new characters, so... Unless... I will find out who I missed. Kurt. You've got some time. Care to come with me? I know a great pick-me-up uh, when you're tired. Huh? Is he taking him to the pub? Green and Kurt made their preparations and headed onto the bridge. Okay. Oh, fishing. Okay. Got one. Wow. Not bad. It seems you're quite skilled at this. There's no sign I'm likely to catch anything anytime soon. However, just standing here with a fishing pole is quite enjoyable as it is. No, it's, it's horrendous. Flashbacks. <laughs> right, Master Yun used to tame me fishing all the time back in the day. The trembling of a wandering heart goes into the rod, travels along the string, and is sensed by the fish. Thus, fishing is perfect for both understanding and facing oneself. You'd always tell me that. Understanding and facing oneself. You knew, right, Instructor Reen? About His Highness, Cedric? How he's changed? Yeah, I heard it from Princess Alfin during the military ceremony at the end of the Northern War. It's almost shocking how different he looks now. You haven't seen His Highness in a while, right? Yes. Last time I'd visited him was when he was ill. My family was there that day to pay our farewells. It was the final day of our duties as the Vander family. Ah, when you were dismissed as the Imperial family's guardians. It's like, why? The decision was officially handed down in the middle of last year, right? Yes. At the time, His Highness was still kind and considerate. But I... I was so caught up with myself, I couldn't even notice what was happening to him. Perhaps I should have stayed by his side, regardless of roles, just as he said. Kurt, do you regret coming here to the branch campus? Well... In the end, the decision to come here was mine alone. What if the reason behind it was not a positive one? However, the thought did occur to me when I met His Highness earlier. I suppose it's the wandering in my heart that's scaring off the fish. The wonder... Then wonder as much as you need to. Wonder until you find something. Thinking back, Master Yun never stood in the way of my wandering. I wondered I got lost so many times in my life, but I ended up here, along with my friends, each of whom had their own doubts in their hearts. You might be a little lost now, but... I know you'll find your own path one day. Wandering's fine as long as you've got fellow wanderers by your side. Yuna, Altina, the students in the other classes, even me. Huh. Wonder as much as I need to. <laughs> this is the first time anyone's ever told me something like that. Hey, Kurt! Good! I mean, it's, it's pitiful, but, you know, it's something. Looks like you managed to catch one after all. <laughs> this is more than enough to satisfy me for the time being. In addition, it seems my eyes have finally been opened, if only a little. Until I figure out things with my family and his highness, I'll wonder as much as I need to. I will likely continue to cause you trouble until I can find my path, but I ask that you continue to assist me, Instructor. Absolutely.
Oh, that was lovely. After that, the two of them spent time quietly fishing together. That's cool. I like that, and now we've got to learn quite a bit more about Kurt there and his- This might be a good spot for fishing. I know, we literally just did that, Reen. That's quite impressive, Instructor. The difference between us and experience is night and day. That said, thank you for everything today. It's an honor to have you as my instructor. Of course, I'm always here to help you, so long as you allow it. I think I'll stay here for a bit longer. A lot to think about. That said, thank you for everything today, Instructor. No problem, Kurt. No problem at all. Um, what do I want to do? It was the Arcus, didn't I? Ooh, trying to hold down the R2 button's a bit difficult. So we would have... Uh, so we missed out on Elliot, really. It's sort of like... Out of everything, like, like Elliot or Kurt, I would have gone with Kurt, because I'm more interested in Kurt's story at this point. It's more interesting to what's going on in this story. But anyway, we'll, we'll still read Elliot's orb mail. I can't wait to see home. Irene, everything's going all right. I'm currently on a train headed towards the capital. My Sutherland tour was a huge success. I'm so happy knowing that so many people got to listen to my music. Anyway, I've got some downtime till my next tour, so I figured I'd visit home. It'd be nice if I could see you too. Actually, I'd make more sense if I dropped my knees first, since it's on the way. Oh, kidding. <laughs> I'm glad his tour went well. I recall that this is his first real break in a while. He gets enough time to kick back and relax. Yep, don't, don't even think about like, oh, we could invite him over. It's fine. It's fine. All right, it's a monk. Don't have anything good to tell Monk right now. Oh, it's just the update, isn't it? Thank you message from Milliam. Thanks for the cute purse. The purse you sent is from Palm, right? I love it. It's cute, it holds all my stuff, and it's super awesome. Thank you so, so, so much, Rain. Good. I'm glad she likes it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Where to begin, then? Let's start making the rounds here in the square for a little bit. Let's go in here. I said, is it called the square? It's a circle. Yeah, station square. It says plaza as well. So plaza makes more sense, but still. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, hello. Sword training after chess. Kurt really pushes himself. Guess everyone has their own way of doing things. I'll use my time the way I want to use it. Oh, yeah. Now is this that now the club's over with? I'm gonna look at some magazines. Oh, this pose is so Hmm. I guess he's feeling better already. Indeed, indeed. A student came by to buy a vantage master starter deck earlier. Seems to be steadily spreading among the branch campus students. I'm so happy. Eventually I'd like to hold a tournament for all of Neves. I wonder if my tactic could still work. This is the thing, I want to talk about my tactic when I get a chance. If the students pick it up, it's only a matter of time before it spreads throughout leaves. <laughs> One step closer to getting everyone in leaves addicted to games. Yes, indeed. Okay, we've got that one. Hmm. There is, there is a plan with what I'm doing with the game, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's just I'm not spoken about it properly. A few people sort of know what I'm doing down in the comments, but... It's best I talk about it when I get the chance. Probably be the next part. Hmm, so card games are popular now. <laughs> Maybe I can play with Armin once he's older. Hmm, so card games are popular. Daddy took me to a box store. Yeah, he's shopping with Daddy, he's so fun. The box store, so fun. Okay, let's head on out. Let's um, let's go in the church or the chapel. Chapel. No one in here? Oh, there we go. Leaves used to be part of a barony. Due to an unfortunate turn of events, the members of the baron's family had to leave this land. As the mayor here, I feel responsible. I don't want those sad events to ever happen again. As the mayor here, I feel responsible. What was the second line? I need to do well so that the members of the Baron's family won't have to worry. Cool. Mayor Haddock occasionally comes to say a long prayer for the town. I would like to pray with him for the sake of this town. And hiccups, that's not good. Mayor Haddock occasionally comes to say a long prayer for the town. I would like to pray with him for the sake of this town. Right, so I'm going to have a break. 
because you know I need to take breaks every so often now just just to rest because of what happened so once again thank thank you for all the the well wishes etc the jokes the jibes best way to put it is like yeah I'll be fine just give it a few weeks I'll be back to normal pretty much it like from the channel's point of view we should be okay but I'll take my time don't worry I'll, I'll make sure we're fine but we'll still have another part today I just need to have a break in between the parts you know so we'll see you in the next part ta-ta for now